this is Fantasy Ask, and welcome back to Niche Cupid Clan. In the previous episode, we saw the birth of our twin princesses, Gyra and Apera, um, who look like cream and butter and just so delicious with the golden eyes. Um, but they have been following their mother around because, you know, they're royalty and they don't have gods of their own. They have to stick to her for protection and also, you know, as part of the royal lineage. But uh, right at the end there, one of our teenage gods who aged up recently, well, I should say one of our child gods who aged up into a teenager, she is kind of old enough to be doing things on her own. So she has pretty much taken up god duty with the oldest twin princess, Gyra. So now Gyra can kind of split from her mother's group and start wandering with her god on her own. So she has a little bit more independence than her younger twin. So we're going to be continuing. We're going to see the advisor hopefully scouting, finding more food sources for us, because one of our gods over here, um, Sosta, she is pregnant, but she hasn't been able to have her baby just yet because we're kind of struggling with the resources and we don't want to grow too much too quickly because that is going to be problematic. So let's just dive right in and see how everyone goes. Okay, proceed. I think I want to move you over here. Let's clear these spots. Um, and then we'll get Princess Apera over here. And Sasta, you cannot really move because you have to be next to the Empress. Okay, she managed to dig something good. We have this um, Nishling wandering around and he's trying to get our resources. Thankfully, he's not a rogue male. That would have been disastrous because we have so many females, but um, that's okay. That's okay. For now, we are all good. Or as you know, good as we can be. Okay, more berries. Let's Empress, eat. Eat Empress and Emperor, eat. Eat those delicious berries. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, uh, proceed. Clear, clear. And then let's see the Empress. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, let's come this way. We'll get a para to come over here. Um, this also means that these guys can't move too far from a para, unfortunately. Because a para, okay, Sosta come here, Empress come there, and then this way Sosta can clear some grasses, but also continue guarding the Empress. And let's see, Minachuno. We'll get Gyra to jump there. Minachuno will jump here, clear that area. Okay, Uriah, let's clear this. Let's come here and clear that next to your daughter. Silo. Um, okay, Silo's just gonna hang around over here, which is fine. Which is fine. And nice! Our princesses have become teenagers, which is good. Now that does mean they can help out with, um, well they can start enjoying themselves with the food we have available. We don't exactly have too many food sources, so <clears throat> we still don't have enough to get Sosta to have her baby unfortunately. I'm hoping it's a male, cause like we need males. I'm hoping that Sosta has a male. Okay, proceed. Let's come here. Hmm. Okay, Apera. Stay close to your mother. Um, Rasta is gonna jump here. Okay, Sosta. Let's clear this. Let's jump here, clear that. Okay, let's see you two. Come here. Clear this, jump there. Oh, there's another berry bush back there. Okay, okay. Let's clear. Let's get um, Silo to jump here. 
and clear that. Our food! We don't have a lot of food, guys. We don't have a lot of food. This is scary. This is scary! Okay, um, Silo, come and gorge yourself on food, my dudes. Gorge yourself on the food. Um, ah, em Empress, Empress, you might have to come back. I guess a para can come here. Any more berries? No more berries on that. But Empress, you should probably stick close to your daughter. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You guys stick close to each other. Okay, you can't. There's nothing to gather, unfortunately, over there. Okay, proceed. Clear, clear. Jump. No berry bushes over here. Okay, um, I'm gonna get Minachuno. Minachuno, come here. Clear. And then Gyra. Hmm. Okay, no more berry bushes over there. Clear this. Jump here. Oh, you guys stick close to each other. Clear this. Guys, we might be facing starvation. No joke. Oh my goodness, we officially don't have enough food. Okay, okay, okay. We have a ton of berries. Um, we have berries. Um, Minachuno is an adult. Oh my goodness, that means we have to roll to see who she's in love with. Ah! Okay, guys, we might have some really funky things going on over here. Let's see. So, literally, we have two males to choose from. One of them's related to her. Now, here's the thing. Do we want to include the relatives? Or do we want to not include maybe the parents? Slash, and, and the offspring. Um, but do we want it to be, like, completely crazy? Because, I mean, we, we can do that. We, we can make it really crazy. Maybe we should exclude the... I mean, siblings... We can include the siblings. But maybe we should exclude the uh, mother, father, and children of an Ishling. Because then that would be... Like, with a sibling, they have a chance of having healthy children. But with your parents or children, definitely will be sickly. So, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll exclude the parents. Um, well, if that is the case, then Mina Chuno, there's only one person she can be in love with. And that is with the advisor. The advisor. Who is married to her mother. Oh my goodness, okay. So what, like a stepfather situation? She's in love with a stepfather? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think that's all due. We will exclude. When we have to... I mean, we only have the one male, so I can't exactly roll. But I think what we'll do is exclude the biological parents and biological offspring of any nicheling. So let's see. AP. Procene. Procene. I mean, I approve that everyone's in love with you. He has like three females in love with him. Three females. And the only one who's not in love with him is the one married to him. So, he's a catch. He's definitely a catch. Okay. But we need someone to like grab the bunnel. So, grab the bunnel. Come here, food. Come here. Come back, grab those berries. Um, geez, you guys wiggle back this way. Emperor, move here, grab your berries. Okay, so we have food to feed ourselves. We don't have any more berries over there. Let's see, Gyra. Ah, Gyra could like hoof it all the way here. Hoof it, grab the berries. We'll get Minachuno to come here and grab berries as well because we need to feed ourselves. Like, come on. Procene, you need to continue scouting because you need to like find more food sources that is, I feel like, more important right now than sticking in one place. Especially since these guys are kind of doing that. 
Okay. And, uh, I feel bad for Sosta, but like she needs to have her baby soon. She's getting up there. She's got like six days. She needs to have this baby at some point. Um, but like, food ain't good, but also we need males. We need males in the next generation, otherwise what's gonna happen to us? Okay, you could totally get that mole. So we'll do that. Um, we'll get Rasta to come here. Okay, grab the food. Okay, that helped out quite a bit. And then we're gonna try... Let's see, this is what makes it difficult, you know? Oh my goodness, who is this? Who is this? A female? She looks kind of cool though, doesn't she? Okay, well that male wandering around. Eurasta, you can't interact with any of those tiles. Okay, you guys, let's um, grab some food. Okay, there's no other food to eat over here. So you come over there. We'll get Uriira to clear these spots. Okay, and then Gyra. Hold on. Minachu now. Gyra. Let's wiggle these two. Um, over here. And then let's see. Now, here's another thing I'm wondering. If, like, they're moving around, um, if, like, a god and a... A royal nicheling should be in the tile next to each other at the end of their turn rather than every single action point because then it becomes a bit difficult to move around and navigate because you know they might have enough mobility to jump from here to there but because we have to keep them next to each other the entire time it's like a slow move so maybe maybe you can switch it so that the royal member and the assigned god have to be next to each other at the end of a turn. Maybe that's what we'll do. Um, just to make it easier for us to move around and actually make some progress. Oh nice! Our princesses have grown up! Our princesses have grown up. And literally, um, because we don't have, like, any more males in the family right now, and, like, if we, you know, we have to roll, we have to decide, or we have to see who they're in love with, but they literally only have the one option, which is Emperor Silo. Um, literally, the princesses. Everyone's in love with their stepfather at this point. Literally the situation. So the princesses are in love with Emperor Silo, and Mina Chudo is in love with uh, Procene. Oh my goodness. So literally, all the females in the next generation are in love with the person that their mothers are married to. Wow. Wow. Wowza. Okay. Um, let's see. Food. Food, food, food. Okay, grab. Berry. You guys come back. Grab the berries. I don't think there's any more berries here. Grab that. Yeah, I don't think there's any more berries here, unfortunately. That's fine. We managed to get a little bit of food in that corner. Okay, proceed. Oh, there's a nest! Nice, there's a nest here. Sasta, there is a nest there. But, like, do we want to get her to have this baby just yet? I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. Because... It just doesn't feel... Uh, there's nothing on these tiles she can interact with. Oh, jeez, I could have gotten her to come here and grab that berry. But unfortunately... Uh, maybe we can move her over here. This is frustrating. <gasps> ah! A pair could come down there to grab food, but then she needs to be with her family unit. And I don't... Does she have enough action points? One, two... Three. Okay, she had enough action points to do a little bit and then unite. And then let's see, Minachuno. Let's uh, clear these areas. And Gyra. Okay, there is a nut tree over here. There is a tree, so maybe we should move towards the tree. 
the tree is probably going to be helpful to have like the prin at least one of the princesses there i think okay we'll try and move towards that slowly um in the next turn we'll do that but okay guys with that said and done i'm gonna leave off here thank you so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you in the next video bye bye